All right, let's take a look at all of the curriculum documents and resources we have available as a district for educators. And I'm going to start you off here in Schoology, which I'm sure you're already in. But um, to find the official district documentation and resources, we have to go to groups and get into the CISD curriculum and instruction group. Um, hopefully you're a part of that. If not, somebody very close to you can show you how to get in there, or I can. Um, so when we click that, it takes you to a very boring page without anything on it. Um, <clears throat> so you have to drill down and get into resources. And then we go to our curriculum documents, which is right up at the top here, folder called curriculum documents. And in there you can choose your grade band, which we are going into elementary. And second grade, you are my guinea pig for today. So I'm going to open up that folder. You can look at all of the different content areas here, but we will focus specifically on science right now. And um, I'd like to show you this brand new um, updated landing page. Uh, it's the same for all K through five uh, grade levels. And things have been moved around a little bit and a couple of things have been added. So I want to go through that with you really quickly. Um, the very first thing is our scope and sequence by week for and I shouldn't have clicked open on that, but we'll just go ahead and do it anyway. I already have it open. Um, the scope and sequence for uh, the entire year has been done by our curriculum writers. Uh, over the summer, all the updates and shifting and moving things have, has already occurred, so they're ready to go. Uh, I, if you're accessing it for the first time, the first thing you want to do is zoom in because it's way too small. Um, <clears throat> so looking at the changes, uh, what you'll notice um, th now, this is kind of a newish thing, and I know everybody was doing this anyway in previous years, but we kind of called that um, first week or two where you're g getting to know your kids and going over more of the scientific processes and procedures and things. We call it Unit Zero because it's really not specific to uh, certain kinds of content, such as properties of matter, which is Unit One. That's more specific to science. Um, what you'll notice is we've kind of cleaned things up a little bit, organized it um, with bullet points. Uh, we've added um, some English language proficiency standards in there, uh, which will help uh, with ideas for our English language learners. Um, they're usually pretty closely related or tied to whatever the actual content teaks are for that week. So uh, when you get down into the meat of everything, you'll notice there's content takes, but you'll also notice ELPS embedded in there. And that was sort of a district-wide initiative to get those done. Now, some of these ELPS um, will be rewritten to actually have language specific to the TEEK that's being taught. So it'll be the basically the essence of the ELP, but it'll um, actually tie in closely to what's being taught that week directly. So uh, you'll see that throughout. Um, our high priority learning standards or TEKS are still in bold, so keep that in mind. Um, those are obviously the ones we want to keep real close eye on. Um, our different um, holidays, vacations, uh, flex development days, those have all been included on here um, pretty consistently, so hopefully that'll help in your planning so you know where everything is, especially those early release days, those are on here as well. So. Definitely a cleanup. I will let our curriculum writers from the summer go through and give you the specifics on um, what they may have moved around or changed, but uh, the general idea is still the same, so those are there for you. Going back to our landing page, um, very similar to how it used to be, however, I've added a new column, which I'll talk about in a few minutes, but our um, main curriculum documents for each unit are still here. And those are the Understanding by Design curriculum documents. So I've already got Unit 1 for second grade pulled up, so you can just click that button and it'll take you here. Um, now these are kind of long these days. They're um, pushing 20 pages in some cases. So there is a lot of information in here. Um, I'm just going to go through the high points of it with you right now. These are um, basically set up as a template through the lens of Understanding by Design, so UBD. And UBD is comprised of uh, three different stages. And the first stage in your planning uh, when, when these were written in the history of our district was to look at what do we want our kids to be able to do um, right at the top. Um, and 
we mean that in terms of the specific content, like what science do we want them to know, but we also mean what do we want them to be able to do with that? What kind of um, goals do we have for our graduates or our, um, our kids that are um, leaving your class at the end of the year, that kind of thing. So you'll see some of the bigger picture transfer goals first, and they are pretty much the same all the way through every unit, every uh, grade level all year long. Um, you will see your, you know, your actual content-based understandings, essential questions, uh, all the teaks are on the left there, the high priority are bold, consistent with our other documents. Um, and you will see, keep on scrolling, there's actually uh, a lot of our um, teaks are translated to Spanish, which is great. And then you'll see some uh, other things like prerequisite knowledge or skills that they might need to have, vocabulary. And a key one is some of the uh, misconceptions that tend to um, be encountered when the students come into your classes. So uh, all very good stuff. From stage, once you identify goals and what you want your kids to um, achieve by the end of this, now you can sort of go into, okay, well, how will we assess them? And that is stage two. So they call this evidence in these templates. So. A lot of these are different assessment tools, tasks, or digital um, resources to kind of see where kids are at, whether it's a formative or a performance or a summative type assessment or even a pre-assessment. Um, stage three is the actual intentional design of your learning. So based on your goals and the assessments that you already had written, um, you would come up with these uh, sorts of activities. And these are the vetted activities that our educators have used or usually use um, year after year. Um, and usually they're kind of tied into our district resources. So a lot of the things I'm going to show you in a second will also be linked within this. So these are the specific learning experiences. And then it wraps up and there's a lot here, so bear with me. It wraps up with some of the responsive teaching, so, you know, intervention type uh, activities, extensions, that sort of thing. So that is uh, the very, very short version of a very long document, so there we go. Um, back to our landing page. Um, to go along with our UBD docs, um, you do have HPLS, or High Priority Learning Standards, uh, clarifications, so more specifics on those bold standards and um, what success might look like for them. Uh, you'll also see this horizontal view is linked in every um, grade level. It just kind of shows what every content area is doing at any given moment. So our science content has been aligned with uh, basically all the social studies, the math, the literacy, that kind of thing. So you can see opportunities for collaboration there. Um, you're at a glance, uh, that's basically what does your year look like with very little information, but it's, it at least gives you a kind of a structural overview. Um, and then the report cards for gate, uh, grades K through 3, um, those are in each of these um, landing pages so you can see those as well. Okay, that is the kind of the review of the stuff that's already been here. Now let's look at some of the new stuff. The first thing I want to show you is this button down in the lower left, and then I'm going to talk about the unit previews. Uh, this lower left button here is digital science resources. These are district purchased, district vetted resources that you have access to. And when you click that button, it'll take you to a new landing page. And this was created by our uh, digital learning coach folks. And thank you so much to them for doing that because this tells you basically what we've got, what grade levels it's for, and if you need to, how to um, create an account or log in. So great news is a lot of these are um, linked to our single sign-on or our uh, physical resource that you can grab. Discovery Education is our, so far, at least our go-to in terms of the backbone of the curriculum. So that's available to you. But we have some enhancements such as uh, ADI Labs, which is a whole different topic. But uh, we have our Paige Keeley Probes I'll go over in a minute. Gizmos is available for grades 3 through 12. Mystery Science for K-5. Generation Genius for K-5. Exemplars for K-5. So we've got lots of great um, uh, resources out there for you. And you can click any of these and learn more about it. And certainly you can ask um, me, your instructional coach, your digital learning coach, or your team members about this. Okay, so that's a nice one-stop shop for our resources. One I want to go over in particular is are the Paige Keeley probes. So when you click that button, 
it is going to take you to a large Excel looking spreadsheet in Google Sheets. And I, I did talk a lot about pre-assessment already and um, this is just one of those tools that you have available to you to actually pre-assess, formatively assess our kids. The deal is when you click one of these, it will take you, and I'm just going to go with, is it living? Very first one. It's going to take you to a specific page within an electronic book or an ebook, and it will load that up for you, and it will give you all kinds of directions for you as an educator to for, somehow assess your kids, whether you're doing it as a pre-assessment or as a formative. Um, it'll give you all the details you need to uh, present to kids. It'll give you all the educator notes and how to administer the assessment and some other uh, related information. So uh, super helpful and really these are, um, these are written by absolute science gurus uh, for, that really have handled a lot of uh, the research and assessment and especially at our younger grade levels. So they're really, really great for um, just uncovering student thinking and, and assessing where they're at. So um, on the right of our landing pages, this is the last thing I'll talk about, there are unit previews. And in the past in this district, we've called them stop, investigate, listen, or stop, collaborate, listen. This is kind of the digital or digitized version of that. And so when you click one of these for unit one second grade, it's going to take you and I'm going to minimize this and get us there. What will happen is when you click it, it's going to cue you to um, download it because it says it can't preview it because it's in pages. So uh, Google can't display pages very well. So you just hit that download button and it should show up in your downloads folder. And when it does, it will look like this. So you open it and it's immediately amazingly colorful and it'll tell you what unit you're looking at and what grade level you're in. Um, good information to know. All of them start out very similarly. Um, it talks about the general idea of the whole unit, some assessments that you might be um, looking at, hands-on activities that you might use in general, uh, all, all of the misconceptions and extensions and books that go along with um, the the unit at hand are here instead. So it's, you know, some of the stuff from the UBD doc is also listed here for your convenience. Then this is the amazing part of this. Our curriculum writers have vetted and put in uh, all of the activities that are successfully used or have been used in this district successfully in the past. And uh, this includes some of the newest resources we have that may not necessarily show up in our curriculum documents yet because we've been on pandemic mode. We haven't really been able to update our curriculum documents as much as we'd like. So in those educators, those uh, curriculum writers this summer in collaboration with Samira Khan from Lee Elementary, their amazing instructional coach, uh, they have put together these um, resources for you by week so that it lines up with the weekly scope and sequence document that we have uh, that I showed you earlier. So up in the top left, you'll see whatever week it is, 01, for example. There's week two, simple physical changes. And in each of these, it's very similarly laid out. You have your vocabulary, your learning standards, skills, understandings, targets, and then it immediately shows you which um, activities you can do as a, a, a watching type activity. Um, there's there's your page Keeley probes that we talked about. So these should be linked as PDFs. So that may actually save you from having to go to that um, spreadsheet that I just showed you, but here they are. Um, and then some reflection and other digital resources that we have available that support this content are here. So Discovery Ed, Generation Genius, Mystery Science, Exemplars. Um, and that just repeats for each week of the unit. So Hopefully, you will find this incredibly valuable for just a one-stop shop. Um, it kind of takes the best of the best of our curriculum documents and, and some of the stuff that's new and, and the latest greatest and gets it right out there in front of you for each week. And so we will um, go ahead and switch back to this. And you'll notice that each um, unit, it's there, but they may not be there yet. Um, we are going to be working on these throughout this school year to get them all populated. Um, you know, it's just a monumental task, so it does take some time. 
I do know that all, as of this video, all unit ones for K5 are done. So um, you'll notice this under construction blinky thing gets a little bit smaller, a little bit lower throughout the year, and eventually, hopefully, it will be gone. Um, so then we'll have all these resources available to you. And once you download those, they are yours. You can do whatever you want with them. You can add to them. You can make notes on them. You can uh, draw on them. Whatever works for you to make it yours and more useful to you. And there will be a method of giving feedback to those documents uh, for us to take forward and improve them. So that is an update. Oh, it's a lot. For the overall science curriculum and what you... Um, have available to you where it is and hopefully that helps um, really get you um, excited and confident about teaching science this upcoming school year. Thank you very much for listening. Hello everyone, my name is Priscilla Shaner. I'm a um, designer at Lee Elementary. Hi, I'm Megan Smith. I'm a fourth grade teacher at Lakeside Elementary. And we're just gonna share with you briefly some changes that we did to the science fourth grade curriculum this summer. Um, I'm gonna share my screen so you can see what we worked on. It's just very brief. So the first thing we did with the time that we had allotted is we went into all the UVD unit plans and we did make changes to unit one through four. So we checked the links on them to make sure they were correct. We added anything that we needed to add or we took away anything that we needed to take away. So. After doing that, we then went to the spreadsheet that some of our instructional coaches have wanted us to make some change or to make some additions to. And what they want to do is take this and make it into a more user-friendly pages template or document that designers and teachers can use that has all of these components in it. So we're pulling in district resources that we have available to us. Um, hands-on experiences, I can statements, teaks, all of that good stuff and what it's going to be put into. And I'm gonna share my screen with a template so you can see an example. It's going to be put into, and this is just an example, a page document that looks like this, that has all of that stuff put into it in a really user-friendly format that we can use. And so this is kind of what it looks like. This was another change that we did is I took some of the resources that were in our U UBD plans towards the bottom where it had ELL strategies and I put the good stuff that was in there and linked it and I'm going to ask that this slide get put into all of our pages templates that we're going to have so that we can still access those awesome strategies that we have in our U UBD plans in a more user-friendly format. Yes. So um, I went through the scope and sequence that we had from last year. Everything is in the same order, but inside there are your I can statements that you can use for your daily lessons. All of your teaks are broken into more manageable um, chunks. For example, in the forms of energy, instead of including all forms, mechanical sound, electrical light and thermal into the I can statement, they're broken down into different days to kind of help you as the teacher or designer to see how these teaks can be broken into pieces so that the child can learn and understand the entire concept. Um, you still have the same amount of time to teach every unit that you did last year. Again, the only thing that did change was the I can statements. Um, also included our I can statements for the building relationships at the beginning of the school year and the beginning of the spring semester. There are actual allotted times and um, a couple of activities that you can do with your class to kind of bring them back into the new school year. All right, so those are the main changes that we made and we're looking forward to seeing the content in a new user-friendly format in pages. So have fun this year with science. Yes. All right, for the final portion of our curriculum update, I am going to offer some specific recommendations and suggestions for grades three through five. And I've started us out here in the Schoology landing page uh, for fourth grade in this case, but three and five look very similar. Uh, Y'all have a lot of units in fourth grade though. That's interesting. Um, I will uh, reference the pages unit previews in particular here in just a second and uh, I will also bring back up the digital science resources and show you some things within that. The pages document 
I've got a third grade one pulled up here. This is great, great way to start. Um, I do want you to know that if it doesn't open right uh, as you see on your screen right now, it, you may have bars or um, tabs open on the side. You can just click and unclick buttons. Also set your zoom to whatever works best for you 100% tends to work really well to get full interactivity with this document. Um, as you scroll down, you're going to go right into um, unit resources you're going to use throughout. Um, your assessments are listed here. Page Keeley probes are referenced. Um, this little starburst uh, thing talks about the hands-on experiences you might um, want to be using during this unit. So definitely take a look through those. Um, as you scroll down further, you get into some of the supplemental resources that we have available and also some specific references to page Gilly probes you might want to use. Um, we've got brain pop videos you can watch, discovery ed uh, segments that you can take a look at. Uh, for grades 3-5 we have gizmos available which are your simulators, um, online simulations you can use. Uh, even with those uh, the Explore Learning Gizmos website will have a ton of extra resources you can use, um, teacher and student documents that you can reference. Um, down under guiding activities, I'm going to go through those right now. Um, <clears throat> Generation Genius Mystery Science and ADI for um, argument dri driven inquiry. Uh, those are really, really awesome resources that we have available to us in our district. So um, I will talk a little about those. So. First thing I want to do is go over to our landing page again and um, when you click the uh, digital science resources that's going to take you to a page, a landing page like we saw before here. Um, and I'm going to talk a little about our particulars for exemplars, Generation Genius, and Mystery Science. But if you need to get um, signed up or logged in with any of those there are um, tutorials and how to's on that available. Um, the first one I want to go over is Generation Genius, and um, when you go into our pages uh, documents, you'll actually get specific lessons, but if you just want to go in and explore um, and just sign in, you'll be taken to their main page, and you can sort and sift through this stuff, but grades three through five are right there. So if you click that, it'll narrow it down to stuff that is relevant for you. And lo and behold, look at that, there is a whole lesson here on properties of matter and that is a big theme as we uh, start out our unit ones throughout grades three through five. Um, so when you click that, <clears throat> there's actually a great video there that is one major um, um, benefit to this resource. You can show some really great videos and you can assign these for kids to watch either individually on their own or you can show it in class, whatever works for you. Uh, but that is not all. If you look down in the other materials that are available, you'll see uh, discussion questions and answers that you can use in class with your kids. You have vocabulary that you can uh, use as well. Reading material that you can either assign or print out for your kids. The one I want to show you quickly here is the DIY. Every single um, Generation Genius lesson has this uh, feature which brings you, if you click it, to this page. Um, and it's basically uh, simple materials that you can get and gather to give kids yet another kind of hands-on ex hands experience. And it gives you all the directions and all the other information you need to go with it. <clears throat> you can even download uh, uh, full instructions as a PDF and um, the video that usually goes with this um, shows you how to set it up and how it works so it could not get any easier to um, roll this out with kids if it's something that you see fitting into your lesson design so absolutely utilize this it is really high quality really good stuff so that's that one and then men are, uh, mystery science here is our next one and these are separated by grade level and you can see that they are teaks aligned in most cases here, so you'll be able to find uh, something that uh, works for you. However, um, early on you may not see as much uh, available for our first unit, but you can certainly see where the relevance would be going on into the rest of the school year. So check these out. They're always hands-on, they're always engaging, and they have um, all the materials you need to get uh, it set up and rolling in your class. 
The last one I want to cover, again, in our digital landing page, you'll see exemplars in there. And this is uh, going to take you to PDF documents that are, uh, you know, it's a little more older school, but always high quality. They're, they're engaging and they're hands-on again. Uh, it includes all the student-facing stuff you need, as well as the uh, teacher documents and uh, instructions that you're going to need to make this uh, work for your kids and of course properties of matter is a big deal in the first um, nine weeks here so take a look at this one in particular especially grades three five um, it's a fun way to learn about properties of matter through bubbles so um, if you want these in Spanish they are fully translated and when you click back to this page when you click the exemplars PDF version you're going to be taken to a folder where you can um, download the Spanish version if you'd like the other one that I want to cover really quickly are our ADI labs, or Argument Driven Inquiry. And these are kind of a, a different experience when you look at the hands-on labs that you would typically do. It kind of uh, lets kids take the reins in, in the experimental design and, and you know, try and try and do different things maybe even fail here or there but always a great experience there, there's going to be specific training on how to run ADI in your classroom if you're not familiar with that but um, each grade level has its own um, physical hard copy manual as well as online access so uh, that's grades three four five and if you um, are curious about that check out um, uh, the website for argument driven inquiry but also um, ask your team lead about that because each campus should have its own copy of the book and there's also a way to digitally access these and um, take a look at those they're uh, a totally redesigned way of, of doing science for kids that's extremely engaging and gets at that claim and evidence and that reasoning and justification uh, piece to all science investigation so check that out um, the last one I want to just kind of clarify again is with your page Keeley probes that um, is going to be really really useful for um, pre-assessing and formatively assessing kids so when you click that button it takes you to a basically a giant spreadsheet but for you in grades 3 5 you have four different volumes that you can explore and check out all the different activities they're separated by strand so you can especially in the first nine weeks here we're in physical science you can check out those uh, and see which ones you like and which ones you want to use not all of them might be appropriate but a lot of them are um, so feel free to explore and again those come with student facing uh, documentation and also stuff for teachers to um, kind of read through before they roll it out so all great things I um, am excited to be able to have all of this available for you I hope you are too I hope you're excited about teaching science I know your kids are excited about learning science and I really look forward to seeing uh, all the great things you do this year and I wish you the best of luck in an amazing new school year